Louise Cooper is a fourth grade teacher and an animal lover who has rescued as many dogs as she can, giving them a loving home. But 10 years ago, it was Louise who needed rescuing. 10 years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. I found the lump myself while I was in the shower. It was just overwhelming. Louise, a triathlete who competed in adventure racing all over the world, was diagnosed with one of the deadliest forms of breast cancer, what doctors called HER2 breast cancer, affecting about a quarter of all breast cancer patients. I eat healthy, I exercise maybe a little excessively, I do everything right. How did I get in the wrong line? What did I do wrong? I thought, okay, you know, I'm going to treat this like it's one of my races. And I know what I need to do. Like, I need to train for a race. I need to be prepared. I need to keep, be prepared for this. A similar unbridled determination was also driving researchers in the a lab at UCLA. That mimics what's in the body. It would be the year they received FDA approval for a revolutionary new drug called Herceptin a targeted therapy that could save Louise's life and thousands of others with her same type of deadly HER2 cancer. Women with this subtype of cancer had among the worst prognoses and they had short disease-free survival, shortened overall survival, and the standard therapies did not do well for them. In fact, um, they recurred more quickly and unfortunately succumbed to their disease more quickly. That was all the pre-Herceptin error. In the post-Herceptin error, that's completely reversed. Now they do better than other breast cancer patients because we have a targeted therapy. To me, it was this gift. Um, it was a lifeline that was being thrown to me because I had been told that with HER2 cancer, from diagnosis to demise was like two years and it was guaranteed to recur. How fortunate I was that I had just been diagnosed with that type of cancer when this drug had just been developed. Over the past 10 years, Herceptin has saved tens of thousands of lives. Louise has been cancer-free for the past eight years, and the legacy of Herceptin continues to grow. We continue to use Herceptin in combination with chemotherapy, but there's new research going on here and other places using Herceptin combined with other targeted therapies and taking the chemotherapy away. In fact, we have a trial that was completed here at the Johnson Comprehensive Cancer Center that just looked at Herceptin and another antibody with no chemotherapy in women who had advanced disease. And the preliminary results from that trial have been very exciting, very positive, and that's moved now into a large worldwide phase three trial based on the results that were generated here. So we really are changing the way we treat cancer. Either we're going to turn what is a killer into a chronic disease that's managed, or in some instances we'll be able to cure the disease. And that's where we're shooting, and that's what we're uh, trying to achieve. The, the gift of 10 years that I've been given by the research that has been done by the doctors at UCLA and the development of Herceptin and the passion that people have put into something like this and how many other people are alive to this day because of it. It's the 10th anniversary and you go, whoa, pour me a glass of Merlot, you know? <laughs> It's, um, it's my way of saying, um, in your face, cancer.